Hello and welcome back to more Zoom Escape for 2004, where last time we solved puzzles in the worst room in the entire game thus far, and today we're going to be heading back to the warehouse to play the Ambidex game once again in pursuit of the Dio ending, which I can't imagine that whatever, I don't, I, I don't foresee a future in which the Dio ending is anywhere near good enough to make me actually care about him as a character, but hey, you never know, I'll keep my, I'll keep an open mind, so let's just keep moving onward and see... See how this goes. 45. And yeah, we know this opened. The gate's been opened. One of the other teams must have done it. But the rest of us aren't even back yet. Well, we can't fix. Well, we can fix that. Come on, let's get moving. Just then. Whoa! Did you just get back? Yes, we did. But then the team that opened the AB gate must have been the ones who went through the blue door. That would be Luna, Bye, and Dia. Huh? Wait, you guys went through the green door, didn't you? Then why the hell didn't you come out of the blue one? There's an explanation for that, I promise. Just tell me, have any of you seen Quark? Quark? No, we haven't seen him. Does something gone. happen? Gone? On the other side of the green door, we found a room called the Treatment Center. We found our key cards and left. But on our way out, he just disappeared. So you went through the blue door to see if he'd gone in there? No, that's not it. Look at this map. My favorite thing, looking at maps. Ooh. So you go through the green door in the treatment center, and eventually you end up at the blue door. It looks like there's a pretty big room in the middle there. What is it? A warehouse similar to the one on floor A. In any event, we've spent some time searching but have been unable to locate Quark. Huh. Well, maybe he went back to the other floor already? That is a possibility. I will return and see. I'm going back through the blue door. Figure I'll take a look at the area Luna and her team were searching. I'll come with you then. We got a better chance of finding it with two pairs right. of eyes. Thanks. Sorry about all this. I guess there's nothing for it. I'll help look for him. Me too. Then we'll leave Flory to you guys. Let's go. Come on, Clover. Right behind you. Also, apparently there's no story lock for, uh... For Dio's ending, which is interesting, but whatever. Uh, I, I don't quite know. Like, I, I don't know what to expect, but I've been told in the comments that it's it's strange that Dio's ending doesn't have a story log because apparently it has major revelations for the game. So I don't know what we're getting ourselves into here, but we're about to find out. Tommy and I headed to the Blue Door Wilds, Clover and Kate climbed into the elevator. Hey, we've been here before. Long time no see. This is the room with the freaky bunny thing. That just jump scared the hell out of me. What is this place? Yeah, it looks like a bunch of hazmat suits. Probably for protection against viral or chemical agents. So these things keep you from getting sick? Yeah, that's the idea. We should ask Luna's group about them. They investigated this room first. Hey, there's another room underneath. Well, let's have a look then. Damn, he's not here. Oh, Quark, where the hell did you go? I should have kept a closer eye on him. If I'd just been watching. Samyoji's face was drawn and the knuckles of his fists were white. He was an old man, but until then I hadn't realized how old. Suddenly he looked very, very tired. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll find him. Come on, let's go try somewhere else. Have you have you tried this to the treatment center yet? I, I put a gentle hand on the shoulder and guided him toward the exit. So this is the Floor B warehouse, huh? It looks just like the other ones. Pretty close. I'll give you that. Couple differences, though. Have a look over there. The doors are... shining? No way! Are these chromatic doors? Yeah, seems like it. See over here? They've got a box next to them, just like the ones next to the other doors. Yes, they're all white doors this time. We should go tell the- No, first we look for Quark. But, look, I don't think he's here. What do you say we head back to the floor for now? Maybe somebody else has already found him. All right, let's go. 
You know, it would be great if Sigma could access his infinite memory to let him know that Quark's in the treatment center cryopods. That, that would sure be helpful. But, you know. In fact, I, I don't know what this ending's gonna entail, but if we... If we end up finding Quark in this ending, then they could have just made that the story lock. They could have just made it that, oh, you need to have found Quark in the cryopod already to know the f- Oh, look who it is, our favorite piece of shit. Dio! Well, it's just you. I'm guessing you haven't found Quark? I ran into Clover and Alice in the warehouse up on floor A. They told me about Quark and how you're all looking for him. So he hasn't come back to the warehouse? Nope. Maybe he just went off to ruminate on a solution to this game. Chewing his cut, so to speak. What? Well, that's what ruminants do, isn't it? Hey, this is no time for jokes. You should be out there looking for him too. Uh, why would I do that? It sounds so boring. Aren't you worried about him? Why the hell would I be worried about some kid I've never even seen before? What? For all I know, he's zero senior. Yeah, that's that's a funny joke right there. He could be hiding in some swank little cubby hole, swirling a glass of brandy and gloating. Look at all those fools running around. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, there's what? There's no way. Are you sure? Nobody knows what Zero looks He's like. He's like six years old. He could totally be a kid. I warned you, Tenmyoji. I told you it was a bad idea to just swallow everything that little bastard. He's like six years old. You think he could have orchestrated this? Dio, your ending better be really good, buddy, because I really, really don't like you. I trust Quark. <laughs> Suit yourself. Just don't come crying to me when it bites you in the ass. The air grew thick with tension, but before their tempers managed to set it alight, Phi burst into the room. Sigma. Good. You've got Tenmyoji and Dio with you. We found- Come on, all of you. Did something happen? Just, you'll understand when you get there, alright? Now come on. Uh, where are we going? The crew quarters. Sure. Why not? You know, I was just thinking, if you were to make a TV show based on this game, how would you even do that? Like, 999, you could do, or you can make a movie, because it's, like, there's a bunch of endings, but there's only really one true ending, obviously. Um, but this game, I don't think this... Ow. Oh. Okay, we're doing this again. Alright, then. N no. What in the world? So, this is happening again. That's... that sucks. Your heart's done. Yeah, I remember, thanks, okay. Um... But this game, I'm pretty- like, this story, from what I can tell so far, would only work in a video game. Because it- it involves- it re it revolves entirely around the idea of jumping between different timelines and playing it multiple times to get different endings and retaining information from different playthroughs. This couldn't possibly work in any other medium, which is interesting. Roaring in my ears, breathing, heartbeat, my footsteps sound muffled as if I was sending them through layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Luna was the same. They're they're dead, both of them. By, the, by then, everyone had arrived, cramming themselves into the small cabin. Nobody spoke. Silence filled the room, flowing into my ears and throat like cold back, brackish water. A chill shuddered in, uh, shuddered its way through my body. I stood there, frozen, staring at them. I'd seen a corpse before when we discovered the old woman, but this was different. The old woman had always been dead, at least to me. But at Alice and Luna, I had known they'd been living, breathing people less than an hour ago. Reality settled around my shoulders like a thick lead blanket, and my chest felt suddenly hollow. Who found them? My throat felt dry as I spoke. It was a full minute before someone answered. Clover, I think. When Kay and I ran over, she was just kind of standing there next to the bodies. It was pretty clear they were both dead. I think Clover killed them. Me? Kill them? You got into a fight with Alice after the A-B game, didn't you? It looked like you two knew each other before you ended up here. So maybe you were trying to get her killed. None of us had any connection to her, which means you're the most likely to have a motive for murder. It's easy to see why she would have killed Luna, too. She probably caught you offing Alice, so you did her in, too, so she wouldn't rat you out. The fact that Clover just can't stop smiling is really awkward for this conversation. Stop it, Dio. Well, the A-B game is a motive, too. What do you mean? Once someone's dead, they can't vote anymore. That means they'll automatically ally. If your opponent's guaranteed to ally, then that's an easy three points. Who is Luna's opponent? Me and Dio. Then that would mean Dio had a motive as well. Yep. Alice saw him killing Luna, so he had to shut her up. Why the hell would I do something like that? 
Pay attention next time. You do it to get an advantage in the next round of the AP game. What kind of cool-hearted bastard kills a lady for a few points? You! I'm more interested in Alice's condition than in her killer's motives. I am as well. Her clothes are bare. If it weren't for the knife and, uh, blood, she would look as if she was sleeping. Yeah, you're right. Well, maybe she was just killed while she was sleeping. If she wanted to take a nap, why sit on the floor when there's a bed nearby? That is a little strange. But a better question is, would she really be sleeping right now anyway? Hardly seems like a time for a nap. She was probably put to sleep then. What? How? Oh, come on. How did Zero Senior knock all of us out? Oh, yeah, that, the white gas. So you're suggesting that Zero Senior knocked them out with the white gas, then killed them both? Yeah. However it happened, one of the people in this room did it. Well, maybe not one of the people in this room. I forgot about somebody, didn't I? Are you talking about Quark? He disappears and then suddenly there's a murder? I don't know about you, but that seems pretty suspicious to me. He's six years old! Also, three seconds ago, you were just blaming Clover. You're desperate to blame anybody that isn't you. Oh, that's crazy. Quark couldn't have done this. All right, then why'd he disappear? There... It must have been some kind of accident. Then I might have it backward. If he wasn't the murderer, well, that would explain his sudden disappearance, right? Is your entire existence just to piss people off? You son of a bitch. Like, is that why you were brought to this planet to test all of us? Dio, knock it off. That's going too whoa, far. Whoa, calm down there, big guy. Don't tell me it never crossed your mind. I just said what you were all thinking. I hate everything about him. I hate his face. I hate his clothes. I hate the way he talks. I hate what he says. I don't like anything about him. He has this smug little smile on his face. I hate him. I hate him so much. He's awful. Ten minutes remain. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. All right. Time to head for the AB rooms, guys. Come on, we got more important things to worry about. Oh, so you're gonna abstain, huh? That's some good luck for you, Clover. Sigma was paired with Alice. Sadly, it looks like she won't be able to vote during this round. If Sigma abstains, then you'll have no one voting against you. Hey, come on, cheer up. This is your chance to escape. Escape? That's right. Right now, your BP's at six. Sigma's saying he won't vote, so if you choose betray... Clover would get three points, bringing her to nine. Well, hold on there. I didn't say anything about not voting. Oh, so you are going to vote? Well, you are, right? How exciting. Sigma should have six BP, just like Clover. That means this next round is a one-on-one -on -one fight. If one of them can trick the other one, they'll have enough BP to get out of here. Can't wait to see who wins. <laughs> oh, this is definitely getting interesting. Right. We should get to the Flore warehouse, He's guys. just the absolute worst. Come on. Like bottom of the barrel trash. Hey Clover, can you choose ally? Well, we stuck at six points if we both choose betray. But if we if we both cooperate, we'll get two points and then we'll have eight. That means it'll be pretty easy for us to get nine the next round. Clover? Yeah. I said I want you to choose ally. Okay, you'll choose ally too, right? Yeah. So this is where things get awkward. Uh, we kind of have to choose Betray to get the Dio ending, which sucks, but, you know, of course, that's a lie. She gave me a strange sort of absent nod and then turned to shuffle into the closest AB room. I wasn't sure if she actually understood me, but given the effect that Alice's death was having on her, I didn't think there was much else I could have done. I was preparing to enter an AB room of my own when I heard, I heard Fi's voice in my elbow and turned. Sigma, we need to talk. Oh, hey, Fi. Something up? How are you planning to vote? I was just talking to Clover about that. We're planning to both vote ally. Yeah, I thought so. Huh? Listen to me, Sigma. Because Luna is... Because Luna's not voting in this round, her vote will default to Ally. Her opponent is Dio and me. That means we're pretty much guaranteed to have 9 BP by the end of this round. You and Dio are going to choose Betray? Luna's only got 1 BP left, but she's not... You saw that, right? That means it won't do anything if her BP goes negative. Well, it's not like it can make her any debtor anyway. You have to betray Clover. If you can get to 9 BP, then I'll take you with us. Wait, you mean you're planning to escape? Of course. If you don't come with us, you're gonna be stuck here for the rest of your life. Why? If you just wait until everyone's got 9 BP? I can't do that. You really think Dio's gonna stick around once he's got enough points to split? You gotta make a choice here. The number 9 door is only gonna open once. If you pick Ally and Clover does too, 
then you only have eight points. So is this actually gonna take us outside? Because we we have to pick Petrae to get the deal winning. So are we actually gonna explore the outside world? That seems like a very strange thing to do. I promise you, Dio's gonna make a break for it as soon as he can. If you want to have any chance of getting out, you need those three points. Now. So if I want to get out, I have to betray Clover. Right. Why are you telling me this? How do I know you didn't just tell Clover the same thing? Talk to Clover? I'd have about as much luck talking to a potato right now. The truth is, I want you to come with me. Why? I just... Know that you're important, somehow. You just know, huh? Did you tell Kay? He's got six points right now, too, you know. No, I haven't talked to him. He's playing against Ten Miyoji. Ten Miyoji's only got one point left. So if he's ally, he's going to get penalized. Exactly. One minute remains. It's almost time. Remember what I said. You have to choose betray. She looked in she looked me in the eye until I nodded and then turned and jogged to her door. Okay. Well, I'm excited now. We're gonna get to see what the outside world's like. Unless the game just dead stops as soon as we walk out the doors, in which case that'd be a crap ending. Is Clover really going to choose Ally? If she does, then all I have to do is choose Betray and I'm out of here. No, I promise I choose Ally, so that's one minute. No, it's not. Dio's almost certainly going to have 9 MP after this round. If he gets out, I'm going to be stuck here forever. 10 seconds remain. 9, 8, 7. So go ahead and skip past this. And Betray. Dio ending, here we come. Vote has been recorded, please wait. Alright, let's see how this goes. I am very curious now that I know that this is gonna. Okay, so what do we. What? Stop, go back, okay. Uh, wait, Dio. Fi's voice echoed, echoed hollowly across the room. I followed her eyes to number 9 door into Dio. Dio, no. I shook my head. I had to get to that door. No, he's going to try and open it. Damn right I am. Just not even waiting for the results. But the results? <laughs> like I need to wait for that. Oh, Dio's BP was it his opponent. Yeah, thanks. We know how math works. Excellent answer. I hope you remember to show your work. But Phi was Dio's partner. And her BP was the same as Dio's. That means she has nine now as well. Exactly. It was nine the moment we stepped out of the AB room. Why? Why didn't you stop Dio from choosing Betray? You got the wrong idea, old man. I don't know if that's actually how that works. Don't, does, don't you have to wait for your braces to actually change after the results are displayed? This wasn't just my decision. We both decided to vote this way. Is that true? Yeah, I didn't have a choice. You didn't? Because of you, Luna's BP is negative one. So, what? She's gonna die again? Zero can pump all the poison he wants in order. It's not gonna make a difference now. Besides, her bracelet's already fallen off. You! Then why did you try and stop Dio, Fi? I believe I heard you cry out, wait, as he headed toward the number nine door. Are you planning to wait for the rest of us? Did you just want to get your BP up to nine to reduce your own risk? Sorry, but no. The only reason I stopped Dio is because I needed to know what someone else voted. Someone else? But that would be... Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Sorry, Clover, but I gotta get the ending. I gotta get the Dio ending. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I was pretty sure it didn't actually update until the results were over. That, no. You betrayed me, Sigma. Why? Uh, what interest did I have? Keep your promise, you jerk! I, I gotta get the ending. You liar! I, but, 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 but the ending! You're a coward! No, I want the ending! You don't care about anybody but yourself! I want the ending! All you wanted was to get out of here! No, I want to get the ending! You're horrible! I hate you! That's fine. I'll, I, 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 I'll, I'll tell you how good the ending is. Wait a minute. Just listen to me for a second. Whatever I did, Dio and, Dio and Fi were going to be at no, get 9 BP. The door would have been open whether I had 9 points or not. So, all that means is that you picked Betray because you didn't want to get left behind. 
No, it's not it. How could we know if they would go get help once they escaped? I can trust Fi, but Dio is different. I didn't know what Dio might do to Fi after they went through the door. What if he turned out to be Zero Senior? So I figured that if they were going to escape anyway, I should go with them and make sure that they- Is that it? Is that your excuse? Liar! Liar! You're just like Dio! You're a coward! Whatever. Just fine. I was stupid to trust you. Clover, I- I, I heard a clang and turned. I mean, it's not exactly faulty logic. If you know for sure, if you know with absolute certainty that they're, that they're going to open the door, and you have the choice to go with them or not. Sorry. Like you're it's it's not like you're it's not like you don't know whether they're gonna do it or not. Your choices are literally go with them or stay here. This is and there's nothing you can do to change it. I went ahead and opened it. Gonna have plenty of time to watch soaps on the outside, so I didn't feel like I needed to stick around to see how this little drama played out. Dio! Deal. All right, lady and gentlemen, shall we? Why so serious? This really is. You both crossed the line you weren't supposed to cross. You betrayed your friends, am I right? But you didn't have a choice, did you? You had to survive. Isn't that the way an animal thinks, though? Don't get me wrong. I see. Still, you made your bed. Now you got a lion. If you're gonna be an animal, be an animal. Own it. The losers, the weak, Throw him away. Shouldn't the door close by now? That's how nature works, my friends. That's life. But you get me? Now come on, hurry up. I feel like the door should close by now. Oh, I guess it's still opening. Taste this door takes a long time to open. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. Well, stay if you want. No skin off my back. Anyway, I'm out. Peace! Wait! God damn it, Dio! Tamiyoji leapt forward. Dio faked left and dashed right, slipping around Tamiyoji into the door. Three, two, one, zero. The number nine door is closing. Wait, we're not going through with him? Let's go, Sigma! But- Shut up! Just do it! Okay, I was about to say, I looked at her slightly confused. Before I could respond, her hand closed around my arm like a vice and she hauled my- hauled me bodily through the open door. Okay, I was about to say, it'd be really dumb if we went out of our way to try to get this ending and we just got- we got the door slammed in our face at the last second. Okay, now I'm excited, I'm really excited to see what- to see what's waiting for us out there. I mean, we basically know already, we know that this is like a gajillion years in the future when long after the virus that initially, uh, uh, long after Radical Six originally popped up. The number nine door has closed. This end. Thank you. Sigma! Five! Dio! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Tamioji's voice was muffled by the thick steel, but I could still hear his desperation and anger. I tried to ignore it. Okay, here we go. What is waiting for us on the other side of this door? Alrighty then, here we are. Is that a hallway? Only one way to find out. I, I think you can tell from here that it's a hallway. You, you don't need to walk any further to know that, but... Alright. Just as Fly had guessed, on the other side of the door was a wide hallway. Unfortunately, it seemed to stop at a dead end. It took only a second to find a familiar looking door on the left side of the hallway. We opened it, and stepped inside. What? 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 Oh. This must be the prep room. I think I searched this place with Dio and Luna. Well, just, it just takes us back here? Or, or is it, okay, it's a different one. Okay, I was about to say, wank. I was so confused for a second. If it was, if it literally just took us back to the exact same, I, I was, I, I was, I had to do a double take for a second. Holy hell. Hold up. You know about the one on floor B2? Yeah. I, I visited it with Temioji when we were looking for Korra. Huh. So, you know that the pressure in here is a lot higher than the pressure outside? 
Oh, you didn't. What are you talking about? Didn't I just say what I'm talking about? The air inside this facility is kept at a higher pressure than the air outside. Apparently, they're doing it to keep the virus from getting in. If you're leaving, you have to lower the pressure until it matches what's outside. This room is where you prepare for all of that. See those suits over on the wall? They keep you from getting infected once you're outside. You have to put one on before you can go into the pressure exchange chamber downstairs. How do you know all that? Luna told me. Really? Wait, why did Luna know all that? Apparently, it was all in a manual she found in a room we searched. Huh. Whoa, 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 wait, go back. You said there's some kind of mysterious virus out there? Well, I wouldn't say it's mysterious. I think it's that Radical Six thing out. Don't quote me on that, though. Well, we've come this far. We can't turn back now. Let's get those suits on and head outside. No argument here. Let's do it. Climbed into the protective suits in silence, then he head down to the pressure exchange chamber. <sighs> All right. Well, here goes nothing, I guess. I'm, I'm really, really excited to see how this goes. With a quiet hum, the process began. I could hear the soft hiss of air leaving even through my helmet. There was nothing to do until it finished, but wait. And out of nowhere, Dio spoke up. I never thought I'd succeed so easily. It took me a moment to realize his voice was coming from the speaker in my helmet. Apparently the radio was designed to activate automatically. You mean getting out of here? Ah, uh, you're thinking too small. I guess I can tell you who I really am. What? You see, the thing is, I'm a hero. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's a funny joke right there, pal. I was sent here from far away to save me. <laughs> Okay, Buzz Lightyear. Who do you work for? Star Command? You, do you protect the galaxy from the evil Emperor Zerg or sworn enemy of the Galactic Alli Alliance? Oh my god. You are a toy! <laughs> you actually think you're the Buzz Lightyear? Oh, all this time I thought it was an act. Hey guys, look! It's the real Buzz Lightyear! Oh, Dio, what, <laughs> what are you talking about? If I'm in this room, I'm cackling maniacally right now. Uh, do you ever think maybe you should calm down a bit? excited to be getting out of here, but... Oh, never mind. You're clearly too small-minded to understand. Small-minded? Okay. Okay, pal. We're still going back and forth when the quiet hiss of air escaping slowed. And stopped. The door at the end of the room slowly ground open. Alright, then. Walked through to find ourselves in a nearly identical room. After two more decompressions, the last door finally opened. All right then, let's just stop, take a breath, and step into the great unknown. What? I, I see we're in another desert, but also, um, question, why is the moon blood red? I stepped outside and gasped. A dark landscape like none I'd ever seen lay spread out before me. I couldn't help but stare. What, what the hell? Looks like a desert. I can see that. The question is which desert? No, I can't tell you what day it is though. Huh? Look, the moon's red. See, this must be a total lunar eclipse. Oh yeah, I remember you talking about that in the lounge. During a total Yeah, 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 okay. Do you remember when the next total lunar eclipse was going to happen? Yeah, December 31st this year, so New Year's Eve. That's what the magazine said at least. So today is December 31st. Wait, if, if I gra grab Christmas morning, then... like it. I don't believe that. We should get to the nearest town. You know, if I took a screenshot right now and I sent this picture to someone, I could probably convince them that I was playing a game uh, where we were actually on the moon the whole time. With is that it looks like a space suit. You got space in the background. This looks like a moon base essentially. I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like this this could easily like the thought that actually crossed my mind when I first stepped out of the, the facility. I'm like, wait, are we in space? And then I'm like, no, because we can see the moon up there. Plus, I don't think the game's that insane. There has to be one around. Somewhere. Like it's insane. Let's be clear here. The story in this game is off the walls, but it, it's not that insane. The deserts have some towns, whether they're in Mojave, Sahara, or Gobi. It's not what I'm worried about, though. Well, what are you worried about? Forget it. Doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Tell me. I'm curious now. Impossible as it might seem, I could have sworn I heard her frown. I'm worried about whether or not there are any survivors. If Alice was right about the virus. Are you saying hum humankind might be extinct? What the hell? 
Excuse me, no way, that's impossible. A whole species can't just die out in six days, that's... I hope it's not the case, of course, but there's the possibility. Well, I'm thinking it hasn't been six days. But, yeah, I mean, even, even, even if it's been longer than I, I doubt that you you people would be the only survivors. Whatever. We should get moving. There are still four people stuck in there, including Quark. We need to find help and come back for them. Okay. Turn to take a step. There was a rough crackle over the radio and the sound of someone falling. I turned back around to see Fi on the ground. Hey, hey, are you alright? What happened? I ran over and helped lift her back up. She followed him for a second and clambered to her feet. Where... Where are we? Her voice is low, low and rough. Huh? Ah, I see. <sighs> this timeline. Timeline? She didn't respond. I was about to begin a more irate, irate line of questioning when she suddenly grabbed me by the shoulders. Hey. Dio? Oh yeah, I haven't seen him since we got out. I'm sure he was with us when we Shit. left. We need to split up and find him. What? Wh why? Because he needs to tell me something. Why are you asking me this? I I'm, I'm not sure you're the one who should be asking me questions right now, Fi. You forgot. Wait. He must not have made this jump. She wasn't making any sense. Damn it. Look, forget about that. Just find Dio. I'm going over to that hill. So you take the other direction. We're in a desert. She there's no way he could possibly have gotten that far without us noticing. I watched her for a few moments, confused before turning and heading off to look for Dio myself. What? What is this? Damn, don't see him anywhere. Where the hell did they, where the hell did that guy go? I was looking around trying to decide where to go next when I heard them. The signal must have de degraded, but I could still make out a few words. What the hell are you dancing, Dio? Their voices were cutting in and out, but I'd heard that last word clear as day. Dio. It sounded like Fi had found him. I spun around and took off in her direction. Oh. Is that a transmitter? That's... That... This... This is a running animation. Transmitter? Did she just say phone home? E.T. Phone home. How do you know? I know about you. The transmission was getting clearer. I had to be getting closer. I need to ask you something. What's the password for the number zero? Number zero? I'm no man. The hell can you crack jokes right now? You haven't given me my answer. What's the deactivation code? What? Hey, what are you? Stop! What? What? That didn't sound good. I sped up and quickly crested the hill in front of me. I have questions. What is going on? There, there they were. Also, why are these facilities always in just the middle of some random? Wait, 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 wait! wait what, what? Stop! What? I went down the hills fast. I could half running, half sliding. With the suits on, I could tell who was who. I had to stop them. Pant, pant, pant. I clambered to my feet, slightly wide winded from my ordeal. The suited figure I slammed against lay on the ground next to the other one. Thank God. I moved over to peer through the visor. Dio, yeah, I, we could all assume that. His eyes were closed, almost like he was just. Where is he keeping his hat right now, by the way? My attacker must have knocked him out. Thanks. That was a close one. I don't know where you found a rock out here, but alright. No sweat. Well, what's this transmitter you were talking about? Heard, huh? Yeah. Well, it's right over there. See that briefcase looking thing? He was trying to use that to get in touch with somebody. Where the hell did he get it? Probably had it hidden somewhere. What, hidden? Are you saying Dio's been here before? Yeah, probably. My guess is he came here, hit the transmitter, and then snuck into the building. Snuck in? I wasn't quite sure what to make of that, so I decided to take a little look at the transmitter. There was, a, there was a screen on the upper part with a bunch of numbers that looked like nothing. What the heck is this? 7813... Uh... I don't trust that to not be. Oh, this is still okay. Let's let's trash this page. Okay, seven eight one five three six one zero nine eight. Okay, hold on. Give 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 me a second. Not flow me memo. Hold on. All right, seven eight seven eight one five three six one zero nine eight eight three eight zero nine four two four one nine nine zero five five one. This I don't know what this is gonna be useful for, but it is way too deliberate of a string of numbers for this to not be for this to not be important later. So we're gonna hold on to this. Is that some kind of phone number? That's a about to say. Digits. What is it then? I don't know. I assume it's some kind of code, but I don't see a key to decode it with. I heard an odd crackling noise in my helmet. It took me a moment to realize it was a voice, Dio's voice. What's so funny? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you guys just had it so fucking backwards I couldn't help myself. <laughs> you can't find the key to decode it? Well, no shit. The key's right in front of your face. What? That's the key. The message is somewhere else. Need those 25 numbers to decode it. 
None of what he was saying made any sense to me. Dio, what's going on here? Who are you trying to call with this thing? What, you don't know? At least one of you is appropriately ignorant. Um. Fine, whatever. Might as well tell you. I don't really have any reason to hide my identity now that my mission's a success. Besides, she'll probably tell you if I don't. Might as well hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Dio shifted and put his hands behind his head but didn't bother to get up. I belong to an organization called the Myrmidons. You've probably never heard of it. No, no, I haven't. Uh, but there might be a few people out there who've heard of Free the Soul. If you haven't, well, it's a sacred religious order with over a million true believers. Oh, God, what... What are we getting ourselves into here? The, the Myrmidons are the hand of Free the Soul. We do, we do what needs to be done to bring us close to the new world Free the Soul. What? What is, what is going on anymore? There are some people who might call us terrorists. Then again, from their point of view, I suppose we might be. We're, we're trying to tear down the corrupt world they've built, after all. But what, when the sun dawns for the first time on our new world, we'll be hailed as saints. I... Okay, Thanos. I watch the sunrise in a grateful universe. Holy messengers who cleanse the filth from a dying planet. Well, only... Okay, do you need some, do you need some help? What's your mission to obtain the six infinity stones? Well, only a handful of people will really become saints. Oh, yeah, only half of them. Not even all the Myrmidons will be guaranteed sainthood. Yeah, only half of them. First, you have to be raised with the teachings to free the soul from birth. Then, you have to be chosen to join the ranks of the elite ever. What? What is this? What? Free the soul is built around the teachings of a man named Brother who founded our order many years ago. His teachings are too profound for ordinary people to understand. But you can say that the core ideas of his doctrine are to, are to separate oneself from worldliness, to destroy greed, and to divorce the soul from the body to cleanse it. Those who follow his teaching with discipline and devotion will be reborn as a new form of human. Oh, uh, okay. Only this new species will be able to live in equality in a world without war or starvation. Brother was born into a poor family. I've been told he didn't know his father and that he lost his mother at a young age. The only family he had was his younger brother, a boy named Left. That's an unfortunate name. Uh, they, they say Brother had a special power and that he was able to touch the thoughts of other people and see into them. It left him constantly exposed to the filthy greed of mankind. When brother was 16, Left was found dead. His body was covered in bruises, but the police only made a cur cursory investigation and quickly ruled his death a suicide. Later, brother would find out that the killer had paid the pa police a massive bribe to keep the truth hidden. He burned with rage, but also found himself immersed in cold despair. Eventually, he received a divine revelation. Mankind was thoroughly corrupted by greed. They had to be purified in a new world created. God had given brother his mission. That was when he began to teach others the truth, and at the age of 26, he started to free the soul. Once free the soul was established, he devoted his resources to research on human cloning so he could create the new species he'd foretold. He abducted, I mean invited to assist him, a team of scientists from a research facility in the United States, and a year later, first ten new humans were born. Those ten, so I'm guessing that's, this is going to end up being Kay's father. Those ten were the first generations of Myrmidons. Instantly, I'm from the fourth generation. Our DNA comes from Left Brother's younger brother. That means we're all, we all share a face, and we are all given the same name, Left. Some people think that's weird, but individuality seems much weirder to me. If everyone looks the same, there's no such thing as race or even individuality. With cloning, you don't even need different genders. How could you get more equal than that? This, uh, this is... Buddy, I... Ugh. There's still a little random de deviation and other factors can influence the clone's development. I was the best of my generation, I was chosen to lead. How can you be the best if you're all the same? You... You just... I, I was probably sent here because brother knows the caliber of If you're all clones of each other, how can you... My mission was to infiltrate this facility. When I was given my orders, I thought this was going to be my chance. In all my life, I'd only ever been, I've only ever once been punished for breaking our laws. It had to do with women. I had come in contact with someone unclean and I was considered corrupted. Even if I was punished and harshly and purified my soul, my dishonor remained. I wanted to prove my disloyalty to brother, so I was determined to be successful in this mission no matter what. My entire purpose is to be part of the foundation of brother's new world. Now that I've fulfilled that purpose for the first time in life, I understand what true happiness is. Okay, what is... Ugh. So, to recap, so far we've been introduced to a spy organization, a genetic research facility, who's apparently cloning people, we're in the desert, a mission to Mars, a freaking religious cult, and who the hell knows what else? I... T what is this game? My secret mission is at last complete. With these two hands, mankind is saved. I am your will made flesh. In your name, I give thanks. What? I, uh, this. This game. His voice was taking on an almost reverent tone, and as he finished speaking, he made some sort of odd sign over his chest. 
Fi shoved his hands away. I don't care about your goddamn mission. You did this to us. Now we're going to... to... She grabbed the rock he'd held over her only minutes ago and lifted over her head. Uh, Fi, what are you- Shut up! You still haven't answered my question. I'm going to ask you one more time. What is the password for the number zero bomb? If I were to guess, it's probably the, the, the string of numbers I just wrote down. Bomb? God damn it! Didn't I tell you to shut up? Now, tell me what's the password. I, I think we have it. Uh, she swung the rock down towards Eo's head. Wait! Okay, okay, fine. It's not gonna do you any good, though. I completed my mission. What are you gonna do with a password at this point? Not your problem. Just give it to me. Otherwise... Fine. Now skin off my back. Password for the zero bomb is L-X-A-Q-N-S. Alright. I was wrong. I thought for sure that this was gonna be the... the bomb. Uh, so, uh, alright, Q and S, G, D, Q, okay. Uh, L, X, A, Q and S, G, D, Q. I thought for sure that the, the thing on his, so is that, is this actually just a string of meaningless numbers then? Maybe. M maybe I wrote it down for no reason. If I toss the rock off to the side. You heard that, right, Sigma? The password. I'm going to try my best to remember it. But I won't know if I manage to until after I make the jump. There's a chance I won't remember anything, so you need to memorize it, just in case. Got it? I had an I had absolutely no idea what she was talking about, but I was beginning to understand that it was probably pretty important. With that in mind, I repeated the strange series of letters over and over in my head, doing my best to memorize them. LXA, yeah, thanks. I know. I, I already committed it to memory. Okay. We're done with you. Let's go. Go Not where? Sure, but I think he does. Get up. So far, we have bomb one is uh, B G Z R G R G J D X R, uh, and then the, the other thing is Milk E Voli that that the that, uh, that K gave us. Five grabbed Dio's arm and hauled him to his feet. He jerked his arm away petulantly and began to walk. Is there a city near here? Yeah, well, not really a city, I guess. More like a shelter. Some people who survived the disaster live there. Disaster? What disaster? Just shut up and follow me. You can see for yourself. I looked up. It must have been a clear night because there were even more stars than I'd ever seen before. I could see even I can even see the band of the Milky Way. And in the middle of that fetal star shone the full moon, a giant red orb looming in the center of the sky. Had it always been so big? This game, man, I I don't even know what's going on anymore. This is just the scale... That's the ending?! Wait, what?! This music plays whenever the whenever credit starts to roll. Is that the end? Is that the Dio ending? That can't be the whole thing. What exactly is it about that ending that... So, genuine question, because there, there were some people in the comments that told me that I needed to save the Dio ending for as late as possible. We didn't learn anything new there. I mean, okay, we got the bomb zero code or whatever, which, I mean, yes, that's a new piece of information. But in terms of, like, world building, the only thing we learned that was new was the, the religious cult, but that still doesn't really answer any questions. Because Dio is still a piece of shit. We didn't, I was expecting, I was honestly expecting we were going to get some really emotionally scarring backstory that would make us care about him. Nope, he's still a sack of shit. He freaking, he's a part of a religious cult apparently. Uh, we don't know what exactly his mission, his mission was to infiltrate the facility. We know that we're in a desert, which, which is like, okay, they really can't come up with any more creative ideas as to where to put these freaking nonary game locations apparently. As they're just all in a freaking desert. Um... What I thought the reveal was going to be, this the second we stepped out of the facility, what I thought the reveal was going to be is I thought they were going to reveal that we were that we were actually secretly on Mars or on the moon the whole time. Because, like, at first glance, you could have tricked me into thinking that we were in, that we were in space the whole time. But the, the only other thing that you could consider new would be, I guess, the fact that Phi can remember things from other timelines. But we already knew that. Like, th that was already information we had from when she was talking about the... Uh, when you get to zero BP, you you die. So, I mean that that ending was still interesting because of the brief amount of time we got talking to Dio, and because we have to explore the outside world a little bit. 
But that, I mean, that doesn't really seem like anything that would be game ruining, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what happens later, so maybe, maybe that just gave away the whole plot. I just don't know it yet, but I don't know. Uh, all right, so that was that was interesting. The K ending was still definitely better. A lot, lot more, a lot more meat to that one. But this one, th this one just had the the fact that we were real, we were able to explore the outside world in general. Just had that that, uh, that had, uh, there was a lot going for the game with that one. So, or with that element of it, I should say. So. You know, still, still pretty good. I'm interested to see. Also, also, did I did I write that big long number down for no reason, or was it actually like is that actually gonna have importance later? Because because if I wrote it down for no reason, then I, then at that point I might be like, all right, maybe I wasted my time with that. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. So so far we have two bomb codes, the thing that K gave us, and potentially that long number on the briefcase that could that may or may not be useful. So we'll find out later. Achievement unlocked behind blue eyes. All right, so that's four endings down and five more to go. So to recap, it's going to be uh, that's the so we're we're going after the Alice ending, the Sigma ending, the Luna ending, the Quark ending. We could interchange these; it doesn't really matter, I don't think. And then we conclude with the Phi ending. So I'm I'm excited. Uh, I can't wait to see how this goes. So that'll be for now. Uh, thanks for watching. See you for next time. To catch you all tomorrow for some more Zero Escape Virtues Last Award. Goodbye.